So recently I bought this cheap bug zapper off of eBay to hang out in the shop. After it hanging out there for about a week and its death toll still zero, I decided to take a look and see what was going on. When I got it open, this is the capacitor I found which was supposed to be supplying an electric current to the screen the bugs fly into. When I noticed the voltage rating was only 250 volts and saw how tiny the capacitor was, I knew it was time to mod the bug zapper. I decided to ditch the bug zapper's original power supply and use my own. For that, I used this oil ignition transformer. This transformer has a 120 volt primary and a 10,000 volt secondary at 23 milliamps. Also, one side of the secondary is grounded so it will arc to anything touching the ground or to the casing of the transformer. To show you the arc this transformer produces, I'll be using my variac set at exactly 120 volts. This is the rated input on the transformer, so the output should be 10,000 volts. Now obviously this is way too much power for the bug zapper, so I'll be using this small variac to run the transformer around 30 volts. This is how the bug zapper looks wired up. It's hanging on the roof like normal. The only difference is there's two wires running across the roof. These are the high voltage wires that run across the roof over to the output of the transformer. Now that we've modded the bug zapper, let's see how well it works. As you can see, this works quite well. Now some of you might notice that it looks like the arc hits in the same place every time. Now you're right, it does, because the voltage of the transformer is set so close to the voltage it actually takes to jump the gap that when you create the arc via the bug hitting the screen, it doesn't only arc through the bug but it kind of makes sparks go all over. It does kill the bug however, and it makes a little light show too. Thanks for watching, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.